The Tories said austerity was to pay down UK debt. It's almost tripled. They said we're all in this together. The rich have doubled their wealth. So that was a tweet that I came across on Facebook and it's something that needs addressing again as I wrote about this in my book as well. Now, before I go into this, I just want to say that I fully, 110% can see why police officers are pissed off with the government. I can see that you're not valued. I believe you should be paid way more. I know that you are unhappy with your roles, mainly due to austerity. I get it. Now, I don't know if that person is a police officer or a firefighter or a teacher who wrote that tweet, but let's play a game. Let's use, for example, you wrote that tweet. You watching this video right now wrote this tweet. And I want to ask you a question regarding that tweet. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to complain, complain, complain? Let's look at the 10 years of austerity has been out there, right? It's been happening for many years. Where's that complaint got you today? Unfortunately, relying on the government to make a change for your life is a huge wrong thinking mistake. In fact, it's a huge epic fail. You see, no one but you is going to change your life for the better. And complaining about the government, how they screwed you over, about how bad your life is, isn't gonna change jack shit. In fact, it's only going to make you feel bitter and resentful. It has no positive outcome whatsoever, unless you grab life by the balls and take action to change your outcome. I've been there, I've blamed my mom, my dad, my teachers, you know, um, for the way my life was. And it's the completely wrong way to think if you want success and freedom beyond a job in general, regardless of the police. And now and then I'll get people coming up to me and telling me, yeah, but business is risky, you know, Starting and running a business is risky. And I always tell them, and think to myself as well, what, and running your life at the whim of a faceless organization that can change the shape of your destiny at a moment's notice isn't. Now, I don't know if that tweet is true or not, okay? But there's one more thing I do wanna to touch on. What the hell is wrong with the rich getting richer? You see, the reason they keep on getting richer and richer is because they control their life 110%. They don't look at blaming the government. They don't look at blaming their teachers, their past, their supervisors. They don't blame anyone. They control and take ownership of their life 110%. And if you want freedom beyond the job, beyond the police or another job, then you too need to take 100% ownership of your life and not blame anyone else for how your life is. Now, as I've already mentioned, police officers, police staff, the policing family should be better supported. They should be paid way more. They should be, you know, given better resources. They should, I'm all up for that. I'm pro police, I'm pro you. But complaining about how shitty things are isn't gonna change anything. And waiting for something to change is bonkers, it's ludicrous. You're literally ticking down your life clock for that change to happen. Hope is a bad strategy. It really is. You can either play the blame game or you can actually make some moves to change your life and your family life and the people you love, okay? The choice is yours. One's gonna support you, one's gonna keep you exactly where you are. People never seem to take ownership for their own failures. They blame the Tories, the economy, mum, dad, brother, sister, their supervisor, their past. Whatever it is, they blame someone else. Now, let me ask you another question. If you woke up tomorrow and you kept on blaming other people for your failures, someone or something, do you have any real reason to change? It's not your fault, right? It's not your fault, you're a failure. So why would you change? And just a side note, I'm not saying police officers are failures. I'm saying if you're unhappy, well, only you can determine if you're a failure or not. For me personally, happiness is success. Whether I'm in a job, whether I'm in my business, whatever I'm doing, happiness to me is success. And the opposite of happiness is being unhappy. But if you look to yourself in the mirror tomorrow morning and said to yourself, the reason I'm failing is because of me. 
the decisions I make, the action or inaction I take, then your life will change. You will change. And the reason for that is because no one, no one likes thinking of themselves as the reason they are a failure. And let's not beat around the bush, right? Let's get down to the facts. No one's actually forcing you to stay in a job that's causing you to be unhappy. No one's got a gun to your head telling you to sacrifice your happiness for a wage. No one's forcing you to spend 40 plus hours away from the people you love the most. No one is forcing you to go through the stress you have to go through. As long as you keep blaming other people, the government, whoever it is, for the way your life is, the situation you're currently going through, then your motivation to change your life, the people you love the most lives, will be half assed If you own your failures, you'll own your success too. I hope this video has helped, and if you're an ex or serving police officer who wants to change their life, who's serious about changing their life, then click on the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.